watching KITV4 Morning News. Good morning. It's 5:23. The summer travel season is upon us, and if you're looking to board a plane out of the islands, we've got some tips this morning on how to save big. Now, joining us live from New York City with more is international travel expert and editor in chief of Travel Girl Magazine, Stephanie Oswald. Good morning and aloha, Stephanie. Good morning and a mahalo for having me. Oh. I'm so excited to be talking to you guys. Mahalo <laughs> for that. So we want to want to know, you know, everyone wants to save money. So how do you find the best deals if you're traveling because it's really expensive? Well, you know, it doesn't have to be expensive, and there are some things you can do to save money before you go. Planning ahead, uh, one of the keys is to bundle. If you can plan ahead enough that you can buy your hotel rooms and your flights beforehand, you can save a lot of money. For example, if you go to Expedia.com and bundle, you can save up to $500. So that's some significant savings. Also, look for some spontaneous sales. This week, for example, if you go to their website and put in the online code SUMMER15, you can save 15%. On your hotel room for the summer, so those things can really add up. And what about what to bring once you finally book that perfect summer trip? Well, you know, it's really important to pack your carry-on and make sure you've got the right stuff there as well. And something that's so important these days is to bring healthy snacks with you. I like to bring dried fruits with me and some candy for the kids to keep them happy. Lollipops for the plane in case there's pressure, but also nutrition bars. Very important. Zone Perfect, for example, has 27 different flavors, so you're going to find something not only for the kids but also for mom and dad. And you know, travel can be like an obstacle course. So if you've got something like this in your carry-on, you're going to have something with protein. And vitamins and minerals. It's going to give you that stamina to keep going. Oh yeah. Uh, and then I also go ahead. It's really, it's just so important. I was going to say it's really important to pack your common sense with you too, no matter when you are flying or driving. What about making your game plan? How do you stay organized as you make a pretty significant travel trip? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. I always have a notebook. That's my travel notebook for every trip, just to keep track of everything. Uh, you can also work with a travel agent if you don't have the confidence yourself to keep it all together. But uh, a lot of times, too, it's just important to stay connected, and that's even when you're on the go. Uh, for example, when I'm on the plane flying to my destination, that's when I do my last-minute checks. I check in with the hotel, make sure that they know when we're coming, and make sure I've got the right kind of room that I wanted. Uh, and GoGo -Go in flight makes that easy to do. You can actually save money too if you buy your Wi-Fi. Before you fly. So there's a tip, especially flying from Hawaii and coming to the mainland, you're going to have plenty of time in the air to get things done. So go online, get your Wi Fi beforehand. You're going to save up to 30%. So that's really important. And then make sure that uh, you're checking in with everyone on your list. Um, go to those tourism board websites and make sure that if there are coupons to be printed out, you get that done beforehand. Uh, and make sure you're aware if there's a, a food festival or a music festival mm -hmm. happening. Um, buying those things in advance can really save. Save you some money. All right, these are some great tips, Stephanie. Thank you for your help this morning. Mahalo. And to Mahalo. see this Take care. Thanks, Stephanie. And to see this interview again, just head to the top video section of our website, KITV.com.